see that teenager in this picture right here on the stretcher. The official said security footage from the San Jose airport verified the teenager hopped the fence to get on Hawaiian Airlines Flight 45 on Sunday. When the flight landed in Maui, the boy climbed down from the wheel well and started wandering around the grounds of the airport. A Hawaiian Airlines spokeswoman said airline personnel noticed the boy on the ramp after the flight arrived immediately and notified airport security. The teenager was checked by medical staff and was found to be unharmed. Hard to imagine that. More to come, we hope. And young men thousands of miles away from Hawaii in the Czech village of Viknov took part in a different kind of activity. It's called an, it's called an ancient Easter fertility rite. I don't know. Can we show this, J.D.? They yep, donned traditional so. dress and symbolically whipped local girls with birch branches. The ritual dates back to the Middle Ages. Young men make whips from braided branches or willow trees and are set forth to whip local girls in order to symbolically increase their fertility. How did that get in there? We talk about a war on the women in this country. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That's all we can say about that one. Moving on, the Vatican. Uh, Pope Francis led a traditional uh, Easter uh, service on Sunday and a, a prayer on Monday from the window of the Apostolic Palace overlooking St. Peter's Square. Francis blessed the thousands of pilgrims. He told them to exchange Easter blessings all week long as if, were, as if it were one single day and urged them to spend the day in joy in serenity will do our best, Pope Francis. Well, produce and dairy prices may be rising this summer, largely because of the severe drought in California. California is heavily dependent on snow during the summer, melting from the mountains nearby to supply their crops. The drought limited the amount of snow, which spells bad news, even more bad news than they've already had for California farmers. Now, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the price of milk has risen 24 cents on the gallon. Bacon is up 64 cents on the pound. And wine, which California exports across the globe, has seen a sharp increase of 81 cents per liter. Prices going up. Time to uh, call up our next guest, General Manager of the Hubner Report, Dan Hubner. Uh, Dan, we welcome you back to the forum. And these rising prices, taking a look at what's going on in California, is this based on the weather? Is it based on uh, the water policy in the state? or global demand overtaking supply. What do you think is really at work here, Dan? Well, again, thanks for having me on. But uh, well, I think the, the three questions you asked there, I think you have to identify all three as contributing to the problems out there. But, but certainly the most significant recently, they have had several years in a, a row of, uh, of drought conditions. The uh, reservoirs are at subnormal levels. I mean, nothing really coming down from the mountains to replenish that. Now. My understanding and the growers that I know that work out in California, they, uh, the state, of course, has really put limitations on state-run or state-managed reservoirs. The federally-managed reservoirs still do have water availability, but, you know, they have always, always had a challenging time in that state. I mean, a big agricultural state, I mean, it certainly is, as you looked it up, a good portion of our fruits and vegetables come out of California, but the, uh, the government in the, uh, that state you know, really does not, uh, well, maybe don't want to say understand agriculture, but certainly they know where the votes are, and the votes are in San Francisco and Los Angeles, and if they need water, the ag sector is going to suffer for it. Ultimately, the rest of us do as well. Because they, if we don't get the water to produce those crops, uh, we, we all pay the price for that. So. Dan, so, only about a minute left, and I, I, I guess this, we need your expert analysis on this. Is it going to get worse before it gets better? Do you imagine these price spikes will increase over the next several months, or are we going to see things come down here soon? You know, I personally think things are probably at a peak. You know, this has uh, been in the news. It's, we've seen the 10, 11 percent inflation numbers in uh, the price of livestock, the price of uh, wheat, the price of vegetables, tending to, uh, to level off right now and maybe even head back a little bit lower. So assuming we don't have further droughts this summer, then I think we, maybe the worst is behind us here. Well, that's at least encouraging news. Dan Huber, as always, we appreciate your insights on all things economical and agricultural. Thanks very much. Pleasure. We'll be right back after the American Moment. January 15, 1929 was a chilly day in Atlanta, Georgia when a family gathered to welcome into this world a new life, and with it, a new hope for America. Two years after his birth, his father Michael King changed his name to Martin Luther King, and then changed his son's name to Martin Luther King Jr. Throughout his 39 years, he instilled in Americans 
a new spirit of justice and freedom based on equality instead of status and character instead of race. He waged a nonviolent war on racial segregation with appearances that radiated with an energy that transcended all races, all faiths, and people of all ages with words that still resonate today. I may not get that with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. He spoke to us of his dreams and his beliefs that justice too long delayed is justice denied. You're watching An American Moment on Newsmax TV.